Hello, I'm John Magnus, and I'm a school teacher and a part-time farmer. We've raised American Quarter Horses for about 30 years, and we run about 30 head of mama cows and 30 head of yearling every year, and we bale some hay. Well, about a year and a half ago, I was looking for a new hay trailer, and I found a video on the internet of the Herring Multi-Trailer. Well, I thought, well, that seems like a pretty neat deal, and I called the company and quickly found out that it was way out of my price range. They get 25,000 Canadian dollars for these trailers in Canada. And so I kind of forgot about it, but I mentioned it to a friend one day. And about a year ago, he called me and said, hey, there's one of those trailers for sale on um, Facebook. But it's not a mechanical trailer like they sell now. It's a hydraulic trailer. So I called the guy and bought it over the phone and had a buddy go get it for me and brought it back here to Oklahoma. Well, when I got it, I discovered that one of the I-beams was bent on it. And even though it was bent, we used it all summer. We hauled hay for ourselves. We helped um, a friend move hay um, on a big lease that had about 8,000 bales. And we just tortured that thing. It's designed to haul two rows of six five-foot, five-by-six bales but we had 17 on it, and it worked and performed just fine. We hauled tractors and equipment around. I even went to Tennessee and brought back a John Deere 4450 with a big loader on it, and uh, it worked perfect. The neat thing about these trailers is it says in its name it's a multi-trailer, which means that it hauls hay, and when the deck is down, you can haul equipment or anything else you can haul on a flatbed trailer. So I was so impressed that in the process of owning this trailer last year, I got to meet the guy who had the original patent from Kansas, Mr. Herring, and I bought the United States patent rights to this trailer about a month or so ago. This trailer is our very first one. This is a prototype trailer that we took the old trailer, made a lot of improvements to it, um, to the hydraulics, the thickness of the I-beam, the way the ladders are stowed, the way the hydraulic cylinders work. Um, it was single hydraulics, this one's double hydraulics, but this is our first one. And we're set to produce these. I have a firm from uh, Paris, Texas that's gonna build these trailers for us, a Mennonite man that's a super guy they're getting geared up now and in two weeks we hope to start building these trailers so that's why I'm doing this video I'm asking you if you know somebody that farms that might be interested in a trailer in the future whether it's a hay trailer or a flatbed this trailer could really save them a lot of money these trailers like I said in Canada are twenty five thousand a double row hay trailer um, made here in the United States sells for about thirteen thousand and we're going to sell this one for $16,000 as long as we can. And we think it's an exceptional value at $16,000. So what I'd like to do now is show you this trailer. In its present configuration, this is how you would haul anything. These sides will go all the way down or all the way up. But to put it in the hay mode, um, you raise the center deck and drop these side wings, and it runs hydraulically. In most hay operations, the people that end up hauling the hay are either the wives or the kids or grandma or grandpa and so you need a trailer that's not hard to operate and that's why we felt it was important to keep this thing hydraulic so that there wasn't any manual effort in hauling hay anybody can do it all day long and it's very easy so what I'd like to do now is show you how this works it's got a toolbox here that has all of the hydraulic controls in it I'm gonna drop it down the first thing I'm gonna do is raise the center deck up Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, in this present configuration, you're ready to load hay. You push it on the back, and like I said, it'll hold six on each side. Doesn't matter how you load it. You can load one whole side and then load the other. You can load them one on each side. Doesn't really matter. One thing that this trailer has as an advantage over most two row cradle trailers is that they dump both sides at once, which creates a horrible mess if you have a lot of trailers pulling in to unload hay at the same time. Or if you're just hauling yourself, when you pull in and dump and you got hay on both sides, you got to dump somewhere else and you got to stack them with a tractor. This one, you can dump one side against a row, they'll roll off even, turn around, pull up, do a U-turn, and when you pull back, you can put the next six bales right beside those or you can put them in a straight line. No need for a stacking tractor, a moving tractor at your dump site. You just put them in there nice and neat and you're good to go. So, like I said, this is a pretty neat trailer. I'm going to show you a video of the other trailer that we bought. Our trailer was used by a commercial hay operation in Ohio for about 15 years. And um, the basic design is tremendous. We changed a lot of things with our new design and our prototype from this one. But um, remember I told you it had the I-beam, the bent I-beam. This is where it's bent right here. Um, even though it, um, we hauled 17 round bales at a time and we um, hauled a lot of tractors and uh, we brought that 4450 home from Tennessee, performed flawlessly. It's got two ramps in the back, just pull up on the deck plenty of places to strap it down and you never have to replace the wood. It's uh, a deck that lasts forever. So I just thought I'd show you this old trailer and uh, appreciate it if you would spread the word. If you would, not only share this video, but um, send me a message or give me a call. We hope to have our website up soon, herringmultitrailer.com. My phone number is 580-695-5444. Or just message me on Facebook.